So yeah, I'm just gonna start playing some music here. My name is Ryan Hillier. I'm a musician based in Moncton, New Brunswick. Um, well, I started songwriting when I moved uh, to Moncton, and uh, I didn't really have an idea about what I wanted to do. I just wanted to start playing music in some way, so I bought an electric guitar off of a kid on Kijiji. It had two strings on it. I brought it home and wrote two string songs for a bit. Got, got some more strings, figured out how to put them on correctly uh, after breaking a bunch. I don't remember the process of writing my first song, but ever since it's just been a pretty interesting journey. Like, uh, I had no real idea about what I was getting myself into. I've gone from like job to job and things like that and fallen into different things, but this is kind of the first one that I was like, this is, I'm pretty good at this. Like, I can pretty much, I can, this is something I can really get into and do. I've never been the strongest of guitar players, but I've always had a passion for words and, and for writing, so the marriage of those two is really interesting to me, and, and uh, there's a rigidity to a song that can exist, but at the same time you can change it however the way you wish and still maintain the, the, same, the same feeling or introduce something different to that. So. As a guitar player, I also play in a, in a band called East Coast Love Story, strictly as a guitar player. I've, I really enjoy the aspect of taking you know, somebody else's uh, songs or melodies and trying to translate that into, into the emotion on the, on the electric, which is really vastly different from what I do as a, as a, as a folk singer. Like, it's louder, it's more, I guess, chaotic and fun. There's definitely been moments where I've been like, I, this is, what am I doing? Like, why am I even doing this? Like, this is pointless. Glad I stuck with it. I have to. I don't have a choice. <laughs> it's, um, I realized that, uh, yeah, if I were to give up, it would just be, I would be living half of my life. 